Chapter 6. Therefore, let us leave behind the basic teaching about Christ and advance to maturity, without laying the foundation all over again. Repentance from dead works and faith in God, instruction about baptisms and laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. And we shall do this, if only God permits. For it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened and tasted the heavenly gift and shared in the Holy Spirit, and tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away to bring them to repentance again, since they are re-crucifying the Son of God for themselves and holding him up to contempt. Ground, that has absorbed the rain falling upon it repeatedly, and brings forth crops useful to those for whom it is cultivated, receives a blessing from God. But if it produces thorns and thistles, it is rejected. It will soon be cursed, and finally burned. But we are sure, in your regard, beloved, of better things related to salvation, even though we speak in this way. For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work, and the love you have demonstrated for his name, by having served and continuing to serve the holy ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, he obtained the promise. Human beings swear by someone greater than themselves. For them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we, who have taken refuge, might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek.